Hey guys, Stitching May here. I'm gonna do just my quick reviews on the case creation. This is the La Petite Lap Frame. Tara said that a viewer named Denise had been asking about um, stands, different kinds of stands. Of course, I've done my Ergo stand, which is a floor stand, and this is my case creation La Petite Lap Frame. I purchased, or this was actually purchased for me for my birthday by my sister from a stitch store. I think it was one that she had actually purchased for herself and then decided to sell it. Um, so I did not get a manual or anything like that, but it was like $20. So I wasn't going to complain. <laughs> um, I don't know if they still sell the La Petite. I've seen it, I think, on Amazon and a few of the UK um, stitch stores. I know that they also sell a Z frame lap frame. It's called the Z frame. Um, Craft Fun Forever, I believe, did a video on her Z frame, and that was right before I bought this one. Um, so, this is what it looks like in use. You can, I'm trying to do this without making you too sick. Let's see here. Loosen up this. Into the you can um, kind of angle this however you want. Once this knob is loose, which I've kind of got it torqued down pretty tight, you can also easily flip your work upside down to tie off your, your stitching. This does hold a lot firmer than this. I've got it loosened to where I can show you. Um, this part right here also kind of raises and lowers to where you can get the angle that you want. Again, you have to loosen up. There we go. And then you use this knob down here at the bottom. In order to tighten it up. Again, this knob is the one that controls here. Um, now, this is a little customiza customization the, that my husband added. Um, it comes with this hole and this hole pre-drilled. I kind of, I needed it in between. This one was too high, this one was too low. So my husband drilled another hole through the middle and there we go. Um, it's not even a complaint that I have. I mean, you can drill holes anywhere you want on this thing. You know, make it as high or as low as you want. So, but that was something that it, up here was way too high. I felt like it was in my face. This was way too low. I felt like I was bending over. So, this works perfect for me. Um, this is where you tighten up to hold your frame or your, yeah, your frame. I'm bad about using like laps and calling a frame when this is more of a frame. Anyway, um, Sorry, that was horrible. But um, I'm not really sure what this screw does. I've yet to figure out what that does, except keep it from collapsing on itself when it's upside down. I don't really know what the purpose of this, and that's where a manual would have probably came in a lot better. But hey, it works without knowing what it does. Um, but as you can see, it's got these little grooves, so it can hold. It holds my Q snaps great. I'm sure it would hold a frame. Or a scroll frame. I'm not a Millennium. Obviously, it's way too small to hold a Millennium. And um, the mouth wouldn't open wide enough. The way that I use this with my Q-snap is I kind of put my Q-snap in at an angle. Like so. I tighten it down. And then I kind of turn it down like that. Not only does that help lock in the round piece here but it also kind of helps tighten up the fabric too um i'm trying to think um the only complaint that i had and it's not even really a complaint it's an obvious thing because this is not very tall as you can see this is about as wide as a um or as tall as a frame you can use in fact if i went to the bottom setting i wouldn't be able to flip this up and over um but that's not even a complaint because it's kind of obvious that you can't use a you know you can't use a a you know a really tall frame. Yes, baby. Put the trip. Okay, I'll give the trip. I'll give the dog water in a minute. But um, it's kind of obvious that you can't flip you know a larger frame. But that's really everything is comfortable. I tend to use this more than I do my Ergo because it's easy. It kind of folds down small like this. It stays out of the way. It's very light. Um, I have an issue with my left shoulder. I heard it at my job. 
several years back. Um, not a permanent injury, just kind of it causes some extra muscle fatigue. So um, I too have issues holding with my left hand. So I end up, um, you know, using this instead. I am able to do the two-handed stitch fairly easy with this. I do my opposite though. I put my non-dominant hand underneath. I don't know why. I'm weird. I'm always weird. I always do things backwards. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm really impressed with this frame. I would definitely recommend it. And Craft Fun Forever would have to tell you more about the Z frame. But if um, I don't know how to let Denise know this video is out there, maybe you can link to it, Tara, or let her know. But I hope this helps. Um, like I said, I will be doing the larger lap frame that my dad made me soon. But I'll have to have my husband be a cameraman because there's no way I can... I struggled doing this one one-handed, much less, you know, the larger frame. So, um, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.